Hello. I'm going to try something a little different on the channel today. This is Bellagio. This is the demo. Uh, this is a Poco roguelite. Or roguelike. I think actually a roguelike. I don't know if there's meta progression. But this game's been kind of popping lately. Uh, I've seen a bunch of this game being played. But I've never played it. This is my first ever playthrough of the game. Uh, basically, you go through different levels of dungeons <laughs> that are poker blinds and then like a big boss blind basically and uh yeah you play hands you score points and if you don't hit the blind you uh lose it's really cool um a lot of math i'm not going to be doing any of it but kind of excited to see how the game feels and we can learn the tutorial together i suppose hello jimbo The goal is to earn chips to defeat the enemy blind. Small blind, you only need to score 300 chips to beat it. Select. Is this actually the tutorial? I think that's the tutorial. I guess this is the tutorial, if so. Earn chips by playing poker hands. Base amount of chips multiplied by some molt. Poker hands go here. Great. We'll look at that later. Uh, yeah. Cards and chips. Five cards to play a hand. Uh, this is a straight. Let's play this straight, I guess. Wait. I want to turn the game speed up slightly. Discard. Sure. I'll just discard five random cards. So, yeah, you only can have... So many hands and so many disc rounds of discarding. 300 chips or dead. Guess we'll try chips. Uh, oh my god, why can you go to 0. 0.5? Wow, hang on. Let's see what this is like. Who decided 0. 0.5 was a game speed we wanted to have? Uh, This is a full house. Oh my god, why is this an option? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think this is kind of funny. I'm I'm changing it back, but why? What? Who would want the game to be this slow? Oh, it's actually painful. <laughs> I don't understand. Is there a reason? I don't know. Maybe there is. Uh, this game. But one thing I will say, I mean, the music slaps. But the vibes are immaculate. Like the screen looks like a CRT. There's even like a, it's kind of hard to see in picture, I think. But like the experience of watching this game on a monitor, like this looks curved. And I'm pretty confident my monitor's flat. <laughs> so it's really cool. That it's, it's such a weird game. Like there's no explanation for the law. You're just like playing poker runs against a mysterious force and it's very weird and the vibes are great, so good times. Oh yeah, I have to change the game speed or I'm gonna explode. All right, let's just go to max. If that feels like too much, oh, that's definitely too much. I guess going from 0.5 especially. So one, 0.5, one, two, and four. Two seems like it's gonna be where we wanna be. I let him flush with cash and buy new cards from the shop. So there are shops every round uh what am i trying to buy so you can buy jokers these are like relics basically they sit here and give you a permanent effect uh tarot cards are sit in this section there's also planets which you can see here from these packs different card packs get different card types and then vouchers are like permanent buffs that just get applied to your run. This one's pretty good, getting an extra hand, but we will buy this one. Just most jokers for the most part are unique effects, but it seems like most of them are multipliers and kind of hard to get scores later on in runs if you don't have high multipliers. Uh, I don't think I care about that. Um, there's an interest system, I don't know how to get interest. 
Is it every five gold? I'm going to say, okay. Which tag has you get effect? Right. Oh, that's right. They're called boss blinds. Eight, anti eight to win. Okay. Um, I don't think I care about that. I'll just keep playing. Honestly, I think it's a bit more fun to play the rounds too, especially if this is tutorial. But this might just be the tutorial for you the first run, and the run might be normal. I actually have no idea. And if you get more cards, sorry, when you get more cards, remember you can rearrange them. Joker's trigger in order from left to right. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's a really unique little uh, thing about what is, you know, their relic system. It's kind of cool. All right. I think at lower blinds, you're just kind of clicking cards, which is definitely a vibe I can get behind. This two pair looks a little sussy, but it'll do. Um, I don't know if playing this... I don't think playing this jack gets you the chips, but let's find out. Yeah, it doesn't. It's just basically a discard. You can play it in the hand, but I think unless you have something specific, it doesn't do anything. This two pair looks fine. Sweet. Yeah, I think this game speed is appropriate. Oh, here we go. It does say the interest is per five, five max. So I'll per five, so 25, five max. One, just per five, yeah. Okay. So I would get three here. So levels up pairs. So the, I guess to explain, the jokers are like relics, which we kind of established. The tarot cards are, they enhance cards permanently typically, but they're a single shot. So they're consumables, kind of like potions, I guess. Oh, I guess if you don't play a lot of regulates, I guess I just automatically did what everyone else does, which is compare the game to Slay the Spire, even though this is not a deck builder in the traditional sense. You do do some deck building, but for the most part, your cards are just a deck of cards. Uh, and the planet cards make your, your hands better. So this one gives multiplier and chips to uh, one of the hand types, in this case, pairs. Which, I think this is really cool. Like, this seems like a really interesting way to approach a game. Uh, oh, I did forget that this voucher stays. Uh, stays here the whole time. In the shop, so I could buy it uh, after the boss blind too, I think. I think I'm just going to say okay and be happy with my interest for now. Just got two random cards per hand played. So that's after you play, I think. Just play this too fair. Again, just kind of playing cards. Seems like, again, at lower blinds, you're not in too much trouble. This full house looks exceptionally good. Huge. Yeah, I guess. Well, that makes sense because you don't get all your cash now. So it's snapshotting interest from when you ended the round, which makes sense. Okay, so now I'm at max interest. Oh, that seems really cool. Could we go... Could we get tarot -y? I kind of want to do this. But... Let's just buy these two. It does kill some of my interest, but that's okay. This is one of the, like, I guess, deck builder aspects of the game, where this will actually make your deck smaller. So you can craft your deck, but, uh, just here, which is actually, yeah, it's legit just a normal deck of cards. Plus one hand every round. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know, like, the, I guess there are different decks. Like, this is presumably the base deck, but that's cool. That's a really interesting spin on characters, I guess. Because again, you're using the same tools every run, you're using a deck of cards. Oh, 
The music is great. I bet it gets old after hours and hours, but it's a it's a vibe. I don't know. There's something about this game. Like, isn't this game just weird? Like, what is the theme of this game? Like, yes, it's a poker roguelike, but like, where are we? Why are we here? Why are we doing this? Why am I playing on a TV? Why are the jokers kind of creepy looking? <laughs> it's just a lot. I don't know. There's a lot of charm of, that this game has, which I think is one of the reasons I was excited to play it. I, that and it looked fun, and I like roguelikes, but I don't know. There's something about this game that's just interesting. It's got vibes, and I'm here for them. Uh, what if I skip? Cards and boosters in next shop are free. Yeah. Kind of like... I like just playing. I don't know. Like, I'm sure there's lots of fun strategy with skipping, but I just kind of want to play. I think I have to use this. So, my deck is currently a normal deck, right? Yes. Um, I would rather destroy cards at the same suit. I can discard some. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like a double gutter. Got to discard these. No, we'll just try and spike. Oh, I need the six. We're trying to spike it straight. We hit. I think. Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's play this first. Although this doesn't get this multiplier, I have to use this first. I think it's okay not to get this time. That seemed fine. These two low clubs, maybe? They seem like perfectly good cards to destroy. Now this gives me plus one, so it's five total. I don't think the order matters, but you can swap them around. Sure. I'm sure there are instances where it matters. I just don't think it matters right now. So I want to play a lot of tarot cards. So there are a lot of scaling jokers, which is kind of cool. So this one consistently builds up if you hold on to it and play the card type it asks you to. So either buying tarot cards or finding ways to generate them and use them is kind of how I feel like I'm going to win this run. Maybe done saving interest. Chips if hand contains flush or three of a kind. This seems a bit better if I want this effect, just because uh you can have three of a kind in you can have in full houses too, I believe that's how that works, where you're gonna have flushes and straight flushes only. And they're the same amount of extra chips. I do want tarot cards, so I'm actually going to buy both of these. Buy this one first. Generally, these change the quality of cards in your deck. This has pulled like a random set of cards out of my deck, and now I can apply these effects to these cards. So, make a glass card, which is a card with two times malt, there's a one in four chance to destroy it. Uh, makes two cards get plus three multiplier, which seems really good. And then diamond. So I have all my diamonds still, right? Yeah. Dude, I destroyed some clubs, so. I mean, I guess I could try and make some diamonds. So we can make these high cards diamonds. That seems fine. This also seems kind of good, too, but. Hmm. I just have to use one. It doesn't really matter. Plus three molds. Alright, we're going to look at the hands now. <laughs> Oh, it's cool. I mean, I know all the hands, but it's nice that it shows you. The flush is base four multiplier. I mean, that's pretty good. I feel like I can take the molt and try and make full houses. I don't really want this, I don't think, compared to the other two. Sure. 
special. I'm going to make two of my cards. Two of my high cards. Better. So I guess I'm trying to full house it up. Okay, now it's at plus two. I think that's what that said. At minus two. Jumbo, I guess I'll just have more to choose from. One in five chance to add a foil, holographic, or polychrome addition to a random joker. So then it adds it to my current one or gives me one. I think it puts it on my current jokers. Lucky card, which is one in five chance for plus 20 molt. That is so many. And the one in 15 chance to win 20 bucks. That's pretty ridiculous, but pretty unlikely. This is more deck thinning. Could hit spades or hearts, I guess. Wild card, which is a card that could be used as any suit. That seems really good. And this just makes cards better. I kind of want to click on this. I don't know. I want to gamble. Oh, we did it. Okay, so what is this? Oh, so now it's holographic. So it's just plus 10 multiplier on top. Wow, that's ridiculous. All right, cool. Well, that feels good enough to win, honestly. <laughs> if I skip, I have zero dollar rerolls. You can reroll the shop. I haven't really looked at it, but that is the thing you can do. How does this work? This just gives plus three extra multiplayer. These are just flat molts, right? So it doesn't really matter what order they're in, I don't think. Uh, oh, I was like, I don't think the value of the cards matters, but that's not true. It matters for, uh, I don't want to hold into this eight because of this straight combination. But, uh, yeah, it gives you more chips. So, for example, uh, this is 35. This is also 35. Oh, but it increases the chip. So, these are 20. So, this is four, five, six, seven, nine. Nine versus 15. So six extra chips, something like that. I think I did the math right, but whatever. I don't think it matters that much. Okay, so that gives multiplayer, then that gives extra molt, and yeah. Yeah, I think spiking the one in five here was pretty good. All right, I'm gonna spend some gold. I'm spend at least four. Oh, I want this because I just want tarot cards. Diamond suit, give malt when scold. I think I'm, well, going diamonds. No, I'm not even going diamonds. I didn't take the, I thought I took the tarot card that converted them, but I didn't even take that. Kind of want this. I don't think maximizing interest matters that much. All right, so again, these level up your hand types. A two pair high card, four of a kind pair or straight. I mean, I want it, I kind of want to go for a kind, but I think I have, and yeah, my distribution is pretty similar to a normal deck. Just two less of the suit, two less of the cards I took out with Hanging Man. So I'm not more likely to get four of a kinds or anything. Straights, I guess I've hit a decent number of straights, sure. I feel like the way you calculate probabilities is so different because your hand sizes are bigger and I don't know all this other stuff it's just very different you can like discard many times I have eight cards in my hand like <laughs> all right so here's the fish cards drawn face down after each hand played oh I have to remember what they are basically that's kind of fun kind of wanna this is Looking juicy. Little Broadway draw. Guess I should keep this spade. Is flush good enough? Looks fine. Oh, I should play this. Bonus cards. Extra chips. Oh, wow. I didn't think that would be enough. <laughs> Uh, I guess you hold them to these. You have two spaces. There's one out of two here. So I don't have to, like, rip them immediately, but... What the hell are these? Alright. Plus my card slot available in shop. 
I don't think so. All planets, regular cards. I don't think I need regular cards. This is, I guess, I don't know what that is. I guess they're showing me stuff that's coming out later. Again, this game is currently a demo. The demo did recently get updated. One of the reasons you might have seen more Bellatro floating around. Gains. This is just play two pairs as often as possible. And then this is... Looks like a random amount of multiplier, basically. I think I'll buy both of these. Yeah. Okay. Probably need to... Five dollars per skip to blind this run. Yeah, I'm not really hurting for money. I like saved pretty early. So this is a random amount. I guess that can be first. I don't think it matters. But yeah, this is a random amount of multiplier from looks like zero to twenty. Although maybe just these numbers, so maybe not quite that many, but a random number from zero to a high number, which is fun. This builds if I. This builds if I play two pair and everything else is flat. These are basically all just flat multipliers, so nothing too fancy. Just got these. Oh, but this there the whole time, just watching the two pair in my hands. Um, I make these aces better. Bonus is oh, just worth extra chips. It's pretty good. So then this should... Oh, wow, that was 20. I think that's the high roll. I'm guessing that's the high roll for this. All right, well, that was fun. Yeah, definitely the interest is making me... Oh. Can I use that? I think I want to try and find a different Joker. It's giving plus two is interesting for every two pair. That's like a very quick thing you can build. This is plus two chips for every dollar. Oh, that's interesting. I actually have a lot of money. It's the sell value of all owned Jokers left with this card. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we've seen that you can move these around. This one actually cares about positioning, which is really interesting. So the cell value is two, one, three, eight, ten. So this would be ten molt, just as it is. It's not bad. Straight pair. Uh, I'm gonna have pair a lot. Plus Fifty chips. There's currently 58. I kind of want to take this and just, just kind of send it. I don't know if it needs to give me extra chips earlier, but I'm just going to save more my money and see if I can win by playing only two pair, which I don't know. It seems fun. I don't know if it's good, but it seems fun. Well, I will play this straight. Can I not? I feel like I have a lot of hands, so... Okay, that just added initially, I think, right? I don't want an ace. Did that make any sense, what I just did? I don't know. Yeah, so this is this flat chip modifier, which I do want before the multipliers, I think. I don't know if it actually matters, but... And then I want to save my money. There is a tarot card that gives you a ton of money. I will also buy tarot cards if I can. Yeah, this is a lot if I can make more money. There are cards that make you money too. I don't think I need this. This is a pretty good multiplier card though. Plus one multiplier hand. So every time you play a hand, it gets bigger. But every time you discard, it gets weaker so you just want to chain hands which again this this deck in echo it's such a weird thing to say about a card game but uh you know if i'm trying to play as many it's like somewhat low quality hands all right like two pair is not the hardest uh poker hand to find 
then. It does feel like I could get a lot of malt value. Wow, that seems incredible. I'm not even going to read the other two. Because that just gives me extra malt. Steel card. And then this changes a card into a different card. Which will be good for making two pay later. Steel card. 1.5 malt while this card stays in hand. That's so interesting. All club cards are debuffed. That's fine. I wonder what debuff means in this concept. Like, can I not play them? Are they just weaker? This is not too fair. I guess I could make a card into a king. Alright, let's make a bad card into a steel card. Sure. Now this will just chill in my hand. And it's an extra multiplier, which is a really weird concept, but that's fine. And this... Convert the left card into the right card. So if I want to make this three to a king, which is what I want to do. Convert the left card to the right card. Nice. All right, and that made me two pair. How exciting. Upgrade the pants. That was okay. Oh, wow. Debuff means really debuffed. <laughs> Absolutely shot into the ground. I'm just looking for pairs, right? I don't know if discarding all your cards is the way to do that, but that's what I decided to do. Does this add its multi? I don't think it does, but I kind of want to find out. Yeah, it doesn't. You have to actually play the card in the hand to get its effects, it looks like. Which is what I thought. So in this case, I basically discarded my king. Which isn't very good. <laughs> but... Uh, I guess I figured that out, so that's good to know. 100 chips. I will buy this. Using tarot cards. They're kind of worth the trade-off of fewer chips, I think. Uh, increase rank of up to two selected cards by one. Make some cards spades. We have a normal amount of spades. We just have a normal amount of anything but clubs, basically. Two cards become malt cards. I think I want to... I think I like malt. Bonus card is just worth more chips. Uh, guess let's make my high cards better. Because I have the same of everything else, right? I have an extra king. Oh, because I converted one. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'll just I think I have to use it now, otherwise I wouldn't, but Seems good enough. I oh. Oh. So if I'd skipped more blinds, this would make me a lot of money. But I didn't. It'd just make me five. So I think I'll just play the round instead. I think it's worth more for me to play the round money wise, I think. This is a very unexciting poker hand. Keep the high cards and discard the rest. Why can't I discard this? You can only discard five cards? I guess so. I thought you could discard more for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. Oh, uh, let's use this tarot card. What's this up to? Plus nine, plus ten, so 19. It's pretty good. The pants! Oh, that's pretty good. The pants are popping off, I think. Just trying to save all my money. Diamonds. Don't really care about diamonds right now. This makes tarot. I guess if I find... what's I wonder what the, the planet for Tupo is. Tup, tupo? Tupo is. I would definitely use that. Make a lucky card. That would be fun. Glass card. I don't think I care about destroying cards, really. Oh, perfect. I was like, I'm only looking... I'm looking mostly for the Emperor. It just took me a while to find it. What is a stone card? 
Oh, that's really good, actually, for me. Because uh, if it if it counts in a two-pair hand as the fifth card, right? Because the fifth card doesn't normally count. This this is actually really good, I think. And a wild card can be used as any suit, which I'm not making flashes that often. Two, three, four can help here. Two threes. Two, four. Keep my kings. I have an extra king, actually. All right. So these are my pairs. And I want to make this two stone card. Okay, so this is like a blank, which makes my fortune teller better. A wild card. I'll make a king a wild card. That seems fine. I just want the mold from this. Okay, so now I use these two and this. And I think this gives me extra chips. Like if this was this king, for example, I wouldn't get anything. But I think I get chips from this, which seems good. Let's find out. Oh, cool. It does count. So it's like a blank, but it's worth 50 chips on its own, which is quite a lot. Definitely in the, like, play two pair every hand deck. Uh, seems like a pretty valuable card. It seems valuable to have a stone card. Sorry. Um, I have many kings. I just need something else. What's left in my deck? Uh, decent amount of face cards, it looks like. Three jacks, two queens, three tens, four eights. Well, I don't have an eight in my hand, obviously. So let's keep the... I guess I'll discard a king. I don't need it. Keep my queen and my ten. All right, well, it worked out. Play these. Keep the pants strong. I haven't been able to get this that high, but it seems like a decent amount of extra chips. I wish I had the... I think there's a voucher that makes the interest cap uh, 10 instead of 5, so up to 50. That'd be pretty good here. No. Duplicate a random joker? I don't think I care about that. $3 for a malt? Seems worth it. I don't think I care about this planet, though. It's 12 less chips, or 12 fewer chips. Oh, play only one hand type this round. Well, I don't know if we've met yet, but I'm, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to be one hand Andy. Uh, I'm going to use this at some point, but I'll figure out when. I guess it doesn't matter. Preferably on hearts, I guess. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. I guess preferably on clubs, actually. I'll keep my face cards and hold on to my pair. Yeah, I think I want to wait. King 8-8. Eight, eight. Play. Alright, this is the hand we're playing this, this round. How many of these are we going to need? Not that many. No clubs. That's fine. Take the money. You get money for having extra hands left over. This will be a lot. Nice. Definitely a simple strategy, but effective enough, it seems like. I will say, like, I feel like I've built something where I don't have to think, and I like that a lot. Turn my brain off and just click on cards. Definitely a vibe. Uh, That is... I think that's pretty possible for this deck, but I don't have to think about it. So I'm not going to take it <laughs> because I have to think about it. Oh, man. I could have made so much money from skipping blinds, but I didn't know. How would I possibly know? Still no clubs. I think I could convert this. Let's throw these away. These are fine to convert. King, king. Four, four. Hold on to my extra king. 
This might get harder. I actually don't know if this is enough. Like 16k for a small blend is a lot. Okay, well, it is enough. Missing. Yeah, this distribution is not that interesting. I have kings, right? Oh, how did I do that? Oh, that's cool. You just hover over this and it shows you what's left. That's nice. Don't have to open the whole thing. You have an extra king, so let's just throw. I only have one jack. Oh, I have, I have a pair. Okay, let's throw these out. Didn't hit. Unlucky. I guess I just got again. How many queens left? Three? Okay. And Jack. Two, three. Oh, this is a straight. It'll do. Sure, that'll do. Not what I wanted, but good enough. Oh. That seemed way better than two pair. Despite having these pair of pants. <laughs> Okay, well, we're learning. <laughs> what tarot cards? Just cares about clubs. I do not have very many clubs, so I'll just buy this. I think the four bucks is worth the malt. Emperor? Any emperors? I like this, actually. Yeah, I like the tower. Oh, I have to do it now. Uh, yeah. Cool. All right, let's see if playing two pair can get us all the way through. I think this is, well, I think there's this anti-level and then a lost boss. I don't think that's how long like the full game runs are intended to be because I'm pretty confident this tutorial said uh, get to anti-8 and we're obviously only going to get to anti-5 and or 6, but uh, it's a demo, so I'm assuming it's not done yet. Fishing for a pair. We found one. Two pair. Let's go. This is like the th the throwing rock of this game. I feel like just keep clicking two pair until game ends. It's working. So can't complain. Nice. I feel like we're just scaled enough to maybe win, but I don't feel like I'm that powerful. Adds double the rank of lowest card held in hand to multiplier. So four in most cases. That's better than this in a lot of cases. I also don't know how good misprint is. I think I am going to sell this. This seems quite a bit better. Then I don't really want any of these. I could open this to see what the two pair one is. I'm kind of down actually. Because I feel like making my two pair better is a pretty big buff. Okay, so Ur Uranus. Nice. <laughs> plus one malt, plus 20 chips. Yeah, that seems, that seems pretty good. And we're just slamming two pair all day, every day. All face cards are drawn face down. Well... As long as they're paired, I don't really care. Uh, lowest card held in hand is a multiplier. Held in hand. Okay, so I want, I want a high card left in my hand. So yeah, like this four is my worst card now. So that's fine. Don't think I want to play these. Maybe I do actually, because I don't know what they are. Gives me eight malt, right? I think that's how that worked. That was good. Actually, like this two, I don't want. I'm just gonna play these. Just one pair. Not the best. But I got eight malt again, which is pretty good. Oh, wow, that was pretty good. And now this. 
is going to give me 14 multiplier. That's pretty ridiculous. I'm like watching to see if it's the right amount. Yeah, plus 14. Wow. Yeah, this is way better than the other Draco I had. I'm glad I bought this. All right. So all the way through to what I think is the very last fight of the game. There is a shop here. I wasn't sure if there was going to be one. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yikes. I have a, hope you have a few tricks up your sleeve for this final challenge. Okay, so Cerulean Bell, which is the current boss of the demo. Forces one card to always be selected. That's not so bad. Let's discard the... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's fun. I'm going to try and make these twos part of the gang. And then if I play this card, which I can't because the ace is selected, I would get more multiplier. But instead, this is fine. Still powering up the pants. I don't know if it's enough. I have four hands. Okay, well, it's enough. Spoiler alert. I think without this, actually, I wouldn't have had enough. So that ended up being a good buy. There's also almost plus 200 chips, which is pretty sweet. I wish I'd had a way to get money outside of just, you know, fights, like in a fight, I guess, because this would have scaled so much better. Okay, my a queen is selected. This is a straight. That's fine, we'll play the straight. Times eight, little times eight molt. Oh, I guess I haven't been checking misprint either. Casual plus 17 there. Wow. I feel like despite having plus 30 molt from playing all these two pairs, I guess this is not just for two pair, it's for any card, but I definitely feel like playing two pair all game has been worse than just playing. <laughs> oh, I need an eight. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'll discard some cards. Yeah, this is fine. is to pair and if I play this four I get the five mult. Nice. That should be enough. Well, I think so. Just playing two pair. That was enough. Cool. I win the demo. Made some heads up plays. Thanks, Jokey. Or Jimmy. I don't remember what the Joker's name was. It is a name. Uh that's Bellatro. Definitely gonna be playing more of this. Uh probably kind of weave in runs every now and then when I feel like it. And I am excited to play the full game, which I think is coming out uh, not too long. But for now, you'll probably see a little bit more demo. And then when the full game comes out, you'll see more runs as well. Probably try and play with the other decks and stuff. I think I unlocked one uh, going through this run. I like, saw a pop up uh, throughout the side. But if this is something you want to see more of, kind of a break from the story, more linear solo playthroughs and just something, you know, a little more chill, a little more one shot, uh, let me know. This is, these are definitely the kinds of games I enjoy playing, and Bellatro is, uh, I think, a reasonable length for a video. Some other games I like playing are much longer and don't really make decent-sized videos, but this I can definitely get into. So let me know if you want to see more Bellatro. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, see ya!